Let's play some moves. Started uh, very suddenly. Uh, what line shall I play? Okay, let's play a main line dragon for this game. See what he's got. And it's his rating on here is much, much higher than mine. It must be better when we get short on time. So let's try and play some quick moves. He was expecting it. Not a sound sacrifice, but okay. And I don't remember anything about this. Let's play a sensible move. Oh no, yeah, welcome. This is my uh, first ever live stream. I'm not expecting to get very far in this competition. I don't play as much online blitz as I used to, but we'll see how it goes. Try and play some of my old openings that might, my hand might be able to remember even if my brain can't. Okay, force me to take this position. Let's see. So, I'm a piece down, but I've got two pawns and some sort of dragon play on the queen side, possibly. Uh, the problem, of course, is those two pawns I've grabbed might just mean that he's got an open king side to mate me. I'm in a pawn. D3, but it exchanges too much. Can't give away my dragon bishop. Play in the center. If he plays, if he takes the, the pawn, I think I'll sacrifice the rook on c3 and then recapture with the knight. That's why he's taking with the knight himself. Now, what to take? Okay, let's take the knight and then take the pawn. On the check. No, let's just take one pawn. Four, six against three, so I've got three pawns for the piece. So it should be roughly level. I don't have our worst positions out of the evening. Uh, I don't like his potential discovered bishop moves. Should move my queen somewhere. Can't defend my pawn, knee seven, I guess. Queen six is so disgusting. But... Yeah, I'll play anyway. Kind of grovelly moves. Yeah, definitely suffering now. I must find a better move than Queen six. Let's hope that the level improves during the match. When I was a teenager, I played lots and lots of one-minute chess. So 52 seconds would have been fine. These days, they're too slow. Let's try and not get too, too low. Mm, this is scary. Uh, hope I'm not getting mated. H4, what am I doing? F7 is a big threat. First, feel scared by this H4 idea. And I'm going to lose on time. Okay, let's desperately try and not get mated. Run forward, giving away all my pawns. I don't know where I'm going. He's just going to win his H4 now. Yeah. And vaguely. Yeah, this one's definitely going the wrong way. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to. Everything's dropping. A bad start. Yeah, 
Why is it resigned? Okay. Rematch. All right, needs to play faster and better. Easy, right? Except challenge. Ah, okay, he's uh, not streaming his camera yet. Okay, let's wait for that. So, yeah, Queen E6 was a horrible move. Over there, I can play on movements, but my position at the opening didn't seem too, too bad. Jeffrey could have. Uh, he's just adding his camera, he wrote. But yeah, I've sent a rematch request. So, I guess I'll try E4 in the first game. At least plug some of the openings that had uh, written books on in the past. Even if that track didn't go fantastically well. The piece sacrifice with the Chateau's G4, of course, isn't sound, but in three minute chess, I think it should be okay. Maybe I should play something more solid. I can play a bit faster as well. Game soon. Dead air from spilling, apparently. But he's not accepting. Okay. I think the match is first eight and a half. But there's enough time for me to come back in. If. Uh, Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know why. Is he ready yet? Yeah, I'll send him a new challenge. Don't worry, he didn't accept the rematch. I've challenged him again. And we start. And I've got what? Go. E4. Right. Let's go for a trusted Grand Prix. Ah, he's done some work. I saw in my preparation, which mostly involved finding a microphone, uh, that I could play. That he'd had this a couple of times, but that people take on Z6. Mm, feels like he's actually prepared for this match, which is a worrying development for me. I don't remember. Let's play some random moves. I've got a stupid looking bishop on d3, which will have to move again, or I'll get chatter on the queen side. But get chatter. I'll probably be a bit worse at the opening. Or even more than a bit worse than plunging away that one. Uh, Back up under that pawn, right? Oh, well, continue to develop. Pretend nothing's wrong. Yeah, 
I need to buy fast if I'm going to plunder anyway. Take it and we'll pin the knight. Well, ask the knight where it's going. Oops, just all find out. Give me some questions what to take. Probably doesn't work. So, what if he takes my knight? I take his somehow. Probably with the bishop. Maybe not with the bishop. In principle, I'd like to get rid of his bishop on g7. But I'm a bit worried about my dark squares as well. Exchange. Yeah, must be right. I'll take with the bishop and then the rook. Otherwise, what's he got? He can go queen b6 to pin my knight. Ah, he's taken this one. Uh, let's take his bishop. Do everything as random as possible. He'll probably take my rook. I take his rook. Materials level. We've both got a knight hanging. Struggling to take the knight. Oh, it's level. He seems to try mating me. Let's go queen top. Make sure that my bishop doesn't get trapped. We'll take that with bishop. And that's Dester's end games. I'm not down on time. Good start. I like to provoke his pawns all want to. Dark squares if I can. So my long term strategy is to win his pawn on c5. I don't know if I'll manage it. Even if the rooks come off, it's not completely painless for him. So let's see, how am I going to actually improve my position? Wait, probably it wasn't. The best I could get at my point. It wasn't a move I exactly wanted to play because I had ideas bringing my rook around to the H file. And I'll move my bishop around aimlessly and maybe something will appear. I really need to get my rook into the game somehow. I could play d4 as a pawn break, but I pretend I've got something. I don't think I do. Get him into the game. I'm going to turn. Oh, he's doing something. Tactics. Interesting. If I take, he'll take on g5 with some rook f3 check idea. That's probably a good move. Okay, let's play with you want. My rook is fine with the game now, and that pawn, my strategy, is successful. What shot have I got? Should be enough time to eat up all these pawns. Five extra pawns, even an optical vision is enough. Okay, that one went better. So maybe I need to uh, keep it less tactical, more strategic. So let's try e45. Then Magnus's move. Nice. Ooh, he's following Jordan. Maybe I should actually look to this. Okay. Uh, which way is Magnus going? Trying to avoid following it. Okay. 
it's clear why it's a pawn up, and I've got a terrible knight on a5. In return, black is supposed to have some vague attacking ideas. But I don't think with the way I've played, I really do. So a pawn in blitz isn't too bad. Better than the piece in the last game. At the last black game. He'll place that back to e4. I need to decide what I'm doing. I'll probably take it. I should back. And so I want to play f5 and e4 and grab some space. And to do something before he develops a bishop on c1. Because then my position really is just completely terrible. It's going to go d3 next. Let's see whether I can trap this queen. I don't think I can. I'll pretend I'm. I'm throwing f4, but I think you can take my pawn, unfortunately. This queen's going to escape. And I thought my stupid knight. Remember, I'm losing another ball. But apart from that, this is just terrible. Let's give the pawn. Best case scenario here is I get my knight back from a5 to some sensible square. And I'm just two pawns down. Not quite what I was going for. Trying to even make to me. Okay. Turn the form. I'm probably quite happy if he gets distracted and tries to make to me rather than just winning two points up. I said that's probably uh, extremely dangerous. Sort of vaguely thrown out too. And distract him. This is only one point. So. I have all the other problems. I don't want to exchange things here. But I don't really see what else I'm doing. Take it. This bishop somewhere. Okay. So I managed to activate King and this stupid knight on A5. I need to hold on the king side. My pawns are ugly, but at least they're controlling some squares. And hopefully, you can't break through just on the queen side. Probably I should have played a6 there to solve this. Okay. Horrible again. I have to play a6. Okay. He's going to zook on me. I can't move my bishop. It's a nice move. Okay. I 
this too quick. I went fine while I was using my hand to think, but not the brain to go there, it was hopeless. Okay, let's try the other line written about all solid. I've given up the bishops. In return, he's got this backward pawn on d6. I'm not sure about his bishop d7, followed by bishop e6. That was probably a mouse. So he can take up my knight, which would take c4 if he wants to keep his d6 pawn, but then he's just going to be a lot worse. He's got no positives in his position. He's got the backward pawn, and I've got the outcrest on d5. So he's looking for something more dynamic. At least my job is easy enough, I think. If he takes my knight, I'll recapture. Otherwise, I'll take on d6. Guess this takes on c4. Stopping a b5 expansion. Straight on b3. I play it nice and slow. I'm not sure a quick exchange is really good. Maybe he's trying to get in b5. Slow here. Try and build up. I hope there are no tricks. If he does something, I'll bring my king to d2 to defend the knight, then I can play b3, maybe push the rook back, and defend my pawn on c2 again, then move the knight. A slow plan. Probably should be playing b5. Maybe I should play a5 as well. I have to watch out for have to wake up a bit in this match, I think. If I keep thundering, then uh, it's going to go away from me way too quickly. Okay, let me take that. Born on the seventh. Can be scary for a or two. I guess his plan here was to play bishop d4 to go up more twice, but then I can 
I've done it anyway. Okay, now it's winning this ball. Obviously, he's winning, but he's not got so much time. Offering a draw. My time is not much. He's not drawing. Say you can. Well, obviously, he's only faster than me, but. Effectively drawn. Okay. okay, well, probably I should be happy with that one. I was dead lost after being winning. But I need to survive some opening. Let's change to. Uh, it's not going for the dragon again. Okay. And let's play slowly. Strength and anger. My king being misplaced in the center shouldn't be a big deal with the queen's already off. So I just need to make sure he can't use his lead in development to harass me too much. Okay, let's keep developing. He was threatening some heat. I took f7 with my, my hanging on d7. Cat me to the rescue, I'm hoping. I don't think my position is too bad. The problem with him actually is that he's developed everything, everything's on sensible looking squares. Well, my plan is just to develop my land GA, develop the rook, I can play lots of improving moves. Of course, he should be better, but it's not so easy for him to play. You might try attacking f7 again with knight g5. That's what we should do. Okay. How my d is like that? I can't play the knight in the way. b5. I don't really want to play f6, but. Taking away my own squares, at least it forces him to move bishop again. And I'll play bishop h6 next, so I should be blocked in by the pawn. It isn't relevant. That's so he's trying to keep the bishop. Okay. Just threatening e5. Okay, the bishop back. That was trying to chop it. I guess he'll play H or something. Move this for square. You can try E5 as well, but I hope that can. Well, maybe if it does work. Okay, it's not an issue. So. Rather than that, if he does, he's got an E5. I'm getting an ugly structure here. But can I do anything with G2 is hanging, but then he's got two very, very dangerous knights coming. What is that? With my development. Okay, I think I can take this pawn cut. My material is level. I somehow survive this. His knight. I think he has to offer the exchange on g3. Which I'll take, or maybe bishop e2. If he goes knight g3, I take it, and I'll take on h through the rook. And this pawn on g3 is attack. Nice. More tactics. Okay, let's just exchange those. Twenty twenty points. Should be a draw again. 
the strange things happen in blips. Four. Get some race. Look after my April. Let's give him the April one. Yeah. I'm going to take all my pawns, but it's like a straightforward line. Pushing my April. Hmm. Strange idea. Must exchange everything with the king of pawn and two. Maybe it's a bit fun. Let's just check a few times. The pins. Can I push again with e2? Then he plays rook g8 check. But then cover. So rook e1 check. You can either go back, but then it'll do well, or he goes forward. I'll push for e4. Okay. So if it goes c4, then I can just play 96 check and push the pawn. Otherwise, King E2 to solve the pawn, I'll get Rook E2 to check, and he'll lose. He won't be able to attack the pawn E3 and have on this one. Now it's check, and I can push the E pawn right. I think it's stopping that. Okay, that went better. Matches level again. Avoiding tactics seems to be the key. Let's repeat the opening from my last white game. Seems to go quite well. I guess his improvement is going to be what was. I've played slightly differently. The castle was already in the last game. Up B5. So basically I want to stop him breaking with d5 or b5. And simultaneously to develop all my pieces. He's getting ready to play it now. He's been doing it one, two, three, four times. Which isn't enough. I'll get my bishop on e1 back into the game. If I can exchange my bishop his knight on f6, then I'll have a very good outpost. On d5. So queen b6, probably just winning a pawn. Probably just have to move my knight now. So it's hanging. Oh my knight and e3 is holding things together. Yeah, I've won. Kind of blinded a pawn. I think I still have decent play for it. Play down the b file. And his bishop is bad on e7. But I can take his pawn. Probably I need to do something with my pawn on c2 hanging. Can I use a tactic to it now? I'm going to take on a6 because the rook isn't bent on b8. I don't think you can deal with it. I think I'm winning my form back. I'm not sure about the structure. I think it's probably better for me. Once it's an ending, at least I can push with c4 and back face, turn it this way. But that one is very vulnerable now. You don't follow it with bishop d8. Okay, let's attack it anyway. I guess but his pawn's all on dark squares, his bishop is really going to regret it. In fact, b6, I can still take this pawn on a5. 
No, I think it's definitely dropping. But maybe I don't need to be in a rush to take it. Hmm. Yes. Take control of the E5 square. I hope this one E4 will be a weakness at some point. Maybe I'll go G5, but I don't think my hand of aggression actually is helping me. Okay, so I think I need to rush on then. Where am I king in? Have the king in the centre for the end. Give me a choice. Head the pawn of E7. Maybe the pawn A5 will drop anyway. It's got a miserable bishop at the moment. I think. If I can make a miserable bishop and a miserable rook, I'll be happy. And after rook A8, I can go knight C4 and attack it again. But then maybe some rook C8, is he? Yeah, well, we'll turn if he wants anyway. Quite an extra. I need to rush. Extra 30 seconds. Let's play some tricky pinning move. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go for Exchange A4 for D6 and have two connected bus forms. I don't think I need to rush it. Mm -hmm. So he can get two connected bus forms of his own, but I can't do this exchange. I guess I can make it in as well. Yeah, I'm looking back. And so which one do I push C or D? Mm -hmm. So oh, a bit short on time. D. That's pawn. Control the D four square. Okay, I can my rook now. I'm actually losing all my pawns, but more importantly, I had more time. I'm better. Got a bit random at the end as these games of that can always do. So it seems pretty silly immediately. Let's go for a sharp line, which I'll probably regret. Relatively solid version. I think taking this pawn in b5 is far too risky with his lead in development. White is probably a bit better with his bishop pair. But if he doesn't do anything with it quickly, then I can attack this pawn in d4. I've got a good outpost on d5. I can just put my pieces on sensible squares. Either win this pawn in d4 or or some concession from him. Can I actually take this one in d4? You can Greek gift me. And then I Greek gift back. Knight takes d4. No. Mm, I don't know why. Tactics haven't helped me particularly this match. Let's just move the bishop back. If he wants to double my f pawns, then. Fine. I don't think he can. Ah, I'm lying. I really want it inadvertently. The triple left pawns. I didn't quite want that to happen. So, well. That's not so easy for him to actually mate me. Maybe knight h4 should be played. It doesn't. I want to go rook e8 to e4 and then my pawns actually look sensible. Let's say he plays knight h4 attacking this pawn. Yep. So queen takes d4, queen d4, d4, knight takes f5, and he's very 97 check. Can't take this pawn. I could 
threaten some big chips. I don't like this at all. Let's go somewhat weird with queen c4. I want him to take the pawn f5 with the queen so that the knight doesn't take him. The knight on f5 looks really horrible. Yep, so he's uh, declining. Let's try again. Oh, it's rookie a check. I think rookie a check might have been completely winning there. Selecting my rook. Not that this is exactly pleasant for me. Okay, a threat. Maybe he won't see it. I think he has to play his knight to g3 or g4, probably loses to a g5. Probably the knight back to g3. Yeah, I've got the initiative. So I can choose. Exchanging queens is obviously unpleasant. I'll go pawn down. Worse structure. My bishop is better than his knight, but still. So I'll probably try to go on d4 instead. He goes rook e4 to try rook h4. But with the queen on d3, I think I'll be controlling the relevant squares. After that g3, can I go rook g5 as well? And queen h6. Mm -hmm. That's a step one I'm do. And now attacking his knight on g3 because of the pin. So I expect him to attack my queen. I'm not sure whether I should have exchanged queens. Concerned about him doubling on seventh rank. The moment it's not so easy for him. Change one pair of rooks. And I'm obviously worse at one down, but my bishop has potential. I'm not sure whether I. Should have gone back on my idea of exchanging books there. So this is a bit annoying. Too many discovered moves. Let's, let's go. It'll be a complete random time scramble again. Oops, it's got rid of Yep. Edifying <laughs> draw there, completely undeserved. Ambitious, not wanting to change those rules. Okay, let's try again. Isn't that the most brilliant line? But okay, let me switch. Uh, and then switch. Knight takes isn't as common as queen takes. Because the old rationale, I think, was that the knight is more active than c6. Less theory with taking with the knight. b3 was quite a random move. I want d4, it makes it a bit of an easier position for him to play. So the use of open spatillions. Do some random moves. At some point, I might play e5. A pretty tactic, but 
That's just giving me the center. E5 or D5, always these patterns. Let's go D5. My now G3 is asking for, say, a 5 square. And it comes like my bishop on B2 is quite happy with that, I think. Okay, what's that bishop? And what's that bishop again? I don't really want to exchange queens. Take this way. It's going to go b4 and take my pawn d5. It's a bit annoying. I think I've got some trick. Or maybe I can try and activate some pieces somehow. Thinking is always a mistake. Okay, let's just play a3. So they start to be for a b and I'm activating my rook and otherwise I'm stopping my I really want to put a knight in on c6. Maybe knight three d4. He's kind of forcing me off. Bring that back. I would be playing before if I were him here to try and get rid of my opponent d5. He doesn't want to. Let's try and punish him a bit for that. So as long as I can hold on to the one in d5, then I should be able to get more space. Some nice squares. This one on c6. This is another corresponding square. Uh, I probably am concerned about when it's F2, so. and that's why I'm probably losing this one on B5, so I'm not protecting it. It's a shame, okay, we'll continue. I have lots of these endings where I'm objectively worse, but Maybe here I'm not even worse. His pawns on A6 and B5 are quite weak. My knights are quite strong. That makes sense to target it. Stop some MP3 check. I just swing my rook somewhere. I want to. I'd like to bring my king into the game, but I don't really want to exchange more tactics. Okay. So taking this pawn, he's got knight e5. I need to speed up uh, where I had to put this knight. Let's just wait. Now I'm definitely worse. I'm a bit position on the board. I'm not too bothered about. It's more the fact I've only got 29 seconds. I'm going to lose this on time. Well, that's quite an interesting position. Ah, that was a stupid. It's less interesting now. I like this king. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ah. I shouldn't be thinking about how to play my position. Play some moves. Problem with being better, you want to make something of it. Go again. Another C3 Scythian. Opening worked pretty well for me. <clears throat> Just play the same way. And 
theory says the way is better here. So let's learn from my last game and not allow bishop g5. Try and play strategically without allowing tactics. It's always the tricky challenge. So I want to combine attack on the pawn of d4 with uh, using the d5 square. And he's using the tactic again. Although, can I not take that? I couldn't take on d4 immediately because of this group gift. Okay, so we can. Oh, he didn't go for this. I thought he was going to take an h6. Maybe this is stronger. Who knows? Nah, my intended rook a3 doesn't work. Can exchange and then. In me with bishop c5. Okay, I'm going to take it. Give my a pawn. Do they know? Yeah, I can take this pawn. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd have to knight at least. So normally, bishop versus knight is better for the bishop in these endings with pawn on both sides. But here, my knight is kind of dominating his bishop. It looks like I should have the worst structure as well. Maybe I do, but let's hope it's not so easy for him to push his points. Okay, push it back now. To watch out for rook c1 to c6 and winning my a6. Yeah, I don't really want to go past this and defend my. Let's pin his bishop and have some vague threats. <clears throat> I think it's okay. my idea was to have a tick. Ooh, I just realized what well, he allowed it. Okay, I can't take the pawn on g2 because the bishop's d3 check. Went to the wrong square. Now it's looking very bad. Mm. Okay, well, let's bring our king to the center. And I think A and H points now is uh, worrying. At least I don't think he can go A6 now because it might be 7. I'll have to change. So I go H4. Let's uh, some squares in my hand. Is scary here. Mm, I took an F2, he goes H7. He's going to come in with a check. So I'm probably getting mated by the king. He'll check me. Why oh, doesn't he check me? Is this stronger? So he's trying to check me. And then Queen. So I guess I should use my. Uh, okay, let's allow rook h8 check. Probably rook f8 is even stronger. Although he's going to make me six. Mm, point. Random checks. I'm in a very bad position. Okay, he goes king c3 to d3. Sharp. Okay. Well, it's completely winning, but he hasn't won it quite yet. So, quite a four check. 
as we know. Yeah. Right. He's definitely out tactic on me here. Yeah. Mm, okay, let's try here. Number white. Oh, switch opening. I bored him to death with the loopy fight. Okay. Modern defense. So my plan is to put knight in on g5 and somehow play e5, e6, checkmate. He's going to go c5 next move. I'll put down my e5. I have a feeling I should have been able to play it without f4. Put it in there. And randomness. Does he have any trick on c5? Hope not. I think the match score is five four down now after a couple bad games. I need to uh, move faster. Oh, that's a pretty move. So if I play knight b4, it's a knight b3 check. Using a can't over the c4. And a takes queen a1 mate. Very nice. So, not allow that. <laughs> More hipsy. Am I threatening knight takes e7 here? He does nothing. And takes on the knight, I'll play e d6. I think I was. I don't think he's really getting ready to castle. My final piece. Anyway, knight takes e7 there, it doesn't look so convincing anymore. But in a few moves' time, it might be right to be played. Yeah, there is discovered knight moves. I could somehow deflect his queen from a5 and the rook on c8, and it'll be queen d8 mate, but I think that's probably too difficult. I can take on c5 to deflect one of them. The second isn't so clear. But now it's c7 now is looking quite tempting. He takes, I go queen d6 check, let's go back. Then I can take on c5 and follow up with queen d7 check. Then the bishop is hanging on b7 and the f7 is weak. So can I do it anyway? I'll take on e3. So no, that must be horrible. Then I can take an F7. So he takes my bishop, then I'll take an F7 check. King of D7, Queen D6 and mate. He can, and if King F8, I've got an F6 mate. He defends his pawn on F7. Now, I forgot enough time. I probably have some mate, but if I take this rook, Oh, I thought he was going to take on c4. Let's look at the knight on c5 as well. He can't recapture that because the queen d8 mate. So he still take on c4. Maybe he has to take on c4. And that's by a check. Now, this looks like checkmate to me. Okay, that was more fun. And show that sometimes I can play some tactical positions as well. It gives me a big enough advantage. And we're back to a tied match. Let's see what he's got prepared in e4, e5. And I went to this knight g5 stuff. So develop. Okay. 
I'm feeling this some sort of theory. I might have lost the temper. I'm a normal position. Maybe I wasn't supposed to allow that one. It's just third. And these attack might be quite scary now, actually. So scary that I can't generally resist attacking my queen. So let's attack it. I'll be annoyed, but if he goes bishop takes c7, then he's going up in the ending. And it's... Okay, the game goes on. Bishop is actually quite bad. Yeah, he's allowed me to properly sack it. Objects are there, I can't have anything like. And I play for it, of course, but still. I have two pieces. On a good day, I'm winning another pawn. I have some squares. I sack my queen for more or less this much against Magnus a few years ago. I think I'm a bit infamous for my queen. It's quite fun. Especially if he uh, now, well, if he calculates to try and find a forced win and doesn't find it, then I'm very happy. If he finds it, probably just has to shrug. He's tempted now to give the exchange on H. One of three as well, but probably too much material for the exchanges. So if he goes king h1, I'm hoping that taking on f2, and then I'm probably not even the materials down. Mm -hmm. He's allowing first. Okay. Portia's queen comes in. Back and defend that pawn. If I had to defend that pawn on c7, I'm losing both d pawns. Or I can go root d8. And also likely to lose both d pawns. So I have a clever way of holding onto these pawns. It's not. I should see five. I'm not sure at all about this. I think he can probably take on c7. My idea is if you take on e6, I can maybe put should d6 on the end. I think I've taken this one. Uh, okay. I think I'm also losing the b7 pawn. So time for some vague. I want some vague e5. Not good. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Hasn't gone well. And that wasn't a good move. And it's going to be very annoying. Oh, I have to speed up. Yeah. I think it was probably okay my position very briefly there. Now he's going to be too many pawns up. And, and more importantly, I've uh, played too slowly in trying to survive. So, this piece has come into the game, and I just need to move and hope that uh, a miracle happens. Faster, and these positions are holdable, but behind on time, there's no chance. Mm. 
No, it's not filming. That was a shame. Uh, did I? I didn't manage to press resign in time. So back behind the end of the match. So this has some fun then. Okay. I doubt the hill is going to repeat that modern again. Uh, what match should I play? Let's try an old line. See what he knows. I'm hoping he grabs all my points here. Okay. This should be more pleasant for the white. Bring me to the centre. But let's not spend too much time trying to figure out how I'm supposed to play the position. I'm just develop my pieces instead. So I'll probably continue with bishop e3, rook c1, queen d2. I'm wondering if I want to play d5 at some point. Maybe I did. Ah, queen d2 is a bit careless. Knight, some good squares to go to. Okay. And d4 is also hanging. Yeah, that wasn't good. Oh. Let's try. My positions have been sort of salvageable if I wasn't also down on time. But let's play quickly and uh, just accept that I've wondered away pawn. But if I could somehow get my bishop from e2 to c2, then I would have some interesting play. No idea how I'm supposed to do that. It's going to take an A3. Let's try and use the pin. If knight says A3, queen A2, then he can't put the knight back because so I'll take it. And I'm defending my queen. I go rook takes C3, but then should be 2 He's allowed me some pins, so probably goes D5 to defend the knight. Ah. Another way of doing it. I wanted to defend my bishop. And then put an eye on c4. So g takes. No, let's just allow knight back. Let's see if I can do something with my bishops before he uh, converts his extra couple of pawns. Now, do I have some bishops as h6 in the air? Now I'll defend my pawn. But move my bishop from f3 and take on h6 with a root g3 check. It's probably a, a draw at best for me. But maybe at some point. Okay. Just going all in on winning my pawn on c3. Let's try and keep it as. Just force him to spend some time doing it. Put my queen off that line. And now he's got to be a bit careful. So I can go rookie. Okay, move my rook. And you can't actually defend this one on g5. I can't really take it immediately because of c3 hanging. Okay, let's defend this the other way. Allowing f6, but then pawn on e6 is very weak. Okay, he's exchanging. I think I can take this pawn on g5. No, it's only one pawn. It's quite a big pawn, unfortunately. This is a pawn, quite an easy plan. Ah, I can take that one. And this queen, e1 check. Okay, I guess I'll continue my plan of trying to mate him. Sitting with knight, I guess he goes knight b2, probably. Let's throw some mate. Okay, now for the Harris Queen. Just the only position. I think I'm lost. <laughs> so I don't mind repeating. Okay. Interesting draw. Still one down. 
six and a half, five and a half to him. Uh, okay, let's try again. Let's put, let's complete a bit better. Let's try and be a kind of awful weapon to the last one. By playing d5 in one go. Where the best weapon should be. Always seems to change subtleties. But I was hoping I'd have something here right against the opponent. E3. But probably my knight's a bit too loose. So at least I've activated my pieces. I don't know. Yeah, I was wondering whether this knight 5 was good, but. I think knight f6 stops the major threat. And d3 is attacked by ice now. I'm going to win back my pawn. Maybe I can. If the knights and queens come off, I can. Well, it's just equal, but I've got more space at least. More space. I have more space. Oh. A lead in development. That's what I meant to say. Ooh, that was a trick again. Good at these tricks. Maybe he's got some weird queen sheet three coming. Okay. Well, walk into it. Those takes on f6, take queen e8, queen e8, rook e8, rook e8. He's temporarily a pawn up, but I don't think he can hold. Here we go. I don't think he can hold on to his d3 pawn. Yeah, he's giving him a pawn. Position is very equal. Times are very equal. Probably that's a success for me from most of my openings, especially with black. And let's try and play some moves quickly and just see. Make them feel slightly uncomfortable. Actually, if he's going to think for a long time on the first move, I'm happy. Uh, I understand what the long term competency for was. Perhaps on space. Well, okay. In while I think about it. The problem is that I have to play quite quickly because if it's 10 seconds each, I think he'll do better than that. I'll play, keep some time to find around here. But it's allowed for me to fix his pawn on g2 with my pawn h4. Suddenly, my king is more active as well. Of course, it doesn't change it from being more drawn, but we have to have more fun. Now, I just have a problem here. This king is stuck defending his pawn on d4, and his bishop stuck defending pawn on g2. So I give him the move. If you're not in Zugzon, we will try f5, but. GF, he's got the same problem. He ran up to my H4. Well, I'm taking G2, but surely taking D3 must be a completely winning game for an ending, right? Okay, take F5. Yep. Your move, sir. I'll run and eat his pawn to whichever way. Yep, so he resigns. Back to level. I think it's clear what positions I should be going for him. Uh, 
or six, two plays the same way. E5, perhaps. Confess I don't know what it has to do with here. So generally, the whole point of this line is he could never take the pawn on e4 because of queen a4 check. Recurring theme. So he'll probably play d5 at some point. I'm not hopeless. But I have some idea. It means it doesn't completely equalize. The advantage is that worst case scenario, d5 is only equalizing. He's going to play quickly in this game. Knight takes e4, is that a threat? I don't really believe it. That's not a decent. I guess I'll move his bishop. So knight takes e4, I take on e7, he takes on c3, I take on d8, he takes on d1, I take on e8, take, and we have my slightly better from that ending. Too confusing for me. I feel like I might have something better. Obviously, he's not that soon. Yeah, I know. I've got uh, Probably just out of the way and not allow any of those in the future. Hmm. Okay, I'm just uh, grabbing some space here. I think I'm going probably winning a pawn here as well. He goes nice e6, f5, and then the pawn of d6 drops. It's gone this way. This is sharper. Let's see. I think it's... Uh, how does that help? Now your queen and bishop are both attacked. If I can take these things, can I also just move my queen? Queen C2. And now he has three pieces of attack. It'd be quite an impressive job if he can find some way of extricating. I think he's probably losing another piece here. Because now B2 is trapped. Yeah. Well, that went well. Ooh, and I take the lead. One and a half, six and a half. One more win. <laughs> Now, probably another e4, e5. The last Italian seemed to go quite well. I've done just my openings. What did I do? After the a6, I think. I switched. 